for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you comparison of the reinforcement details for m20 grade concrete and m40 grade concrete by using stat pro v8i software okay so in my previous video i was done the model and analysis for the respected m20 grade and m40 grade by using etap software so in this video i will do the process for the stat pro results and we will compare the uh, reinforcement details which is there for the beam sections column sections as well as the slab section by using stat pro software okay so basically the reinforcement details are depends upon the grade of the concrete also if the grade of the concrete is increases then we have to increase the reinforcement values as per the considerations but here in star pro software we will check whether it is coming higher amount of the reinforcement value or lower amount of the reinforcement value by increasing the grade of the concrete okay so initially i will show you the model so click on the start pro software this is my model i was done modeling process by using start pro software so i will provide you how to model the structure by using start pro software in a book cut link please watch here okay so after modeling process completed we have to uh, apply the properties so i was applied the properties go to general option so for the column section i was taken 0.35 cross 0.35 for the beam i was taken 0.35 cross 0.23 and plate thickness which is approximately equal to 125 mm i was taken okay so after that we have to apply the load cases go to select the load cases so here i was considered the dead loading condition and live loading condition under the dead loading condition i was taken self weight and all the wall load condition systems and floor load condition system okay in the live loading condition system i was taken the uh, live load condition for the floor section okay so after that we need to do the analysis process go to analyze and print so go to analyze option here click on run analysis save option okay so initially it will check the analysis process for the rest structure now you can see here my model is checking analysis process it is obtained with zero errors and zero warnings okay so click on done option so firstly we need to save this model control s option so here i am saving my model so which is related to the g plus 2 stat okay so i am closing this respect stat pro software so go to click on the design folder so it will be consisting of the design of g plus 2 structure and model here like this firstly i will select this uh, stat file click on copy option go to select m20 grid click on paste here again in the same process i will paste the same property to the m40 grid so go to select your respected m20 grid just i am changing the name to m20 grid concrete and again i am selecting m40 grid concrete again i am changing that to m40 grid concrete okay so firstly i will open m20 grid concrete select the m20 grid concrete model here so the model will be open in uh, stat pro v8i software so it will take some time for opening the model so this is my model so after analysis process completed we need to proceed with the designing okay so firstly go to click on design option click on concrete design so in this we need to select the is codal provision go to select the parameters firstly we have to select the uh, deselect all the parameters from this we need to select compression and yield strength yield strength of shear reinforcement maximum main maximum secondary click on okay select the define parameter option so here i am considering grade of the concrete is m20 grade 20000 click on add option so again in the same process we have to select the fi main section so here i am selecting this respected uh, fi main section which is comes under 415300 click on add option again in the same process fi section reinforcement also just i am taking here as 415300 click on add option so again in the same process maximum main just i am selecting here as 16 mm diameter click on add secondary second just i am selecting 12 mm diameter click on add close option select the com uh, commands option click on design beam command click on add option design column command click on add option design slab element command click on add option take off command click on add option close option okay so now we are to assign this respected question marks select the fc value by using assign to view option assign yes option select fi main click on assign to view assign yes option fi section reinforcement assign to view assign yes option maximum main assign to view assign yes option maximum secondary again i am selecting assign to view option assign option yes option select the design beam command go to select beam parallel to uh, x direction go to select beam parallel to z direction click on assign to selected beams assign yes select the design column go to select option beam parallel to y condition system assign to selected beams assign yes option go to select design element by using assign to view assign option yes option go to analysis and print add your no print option close option 
go to analyze option run analysis save it so here we have to check for the zero errors as per the considerations of the building model so now we can see here my model is checking for the zero errors so now we can see it is obtained with zero errors and zero warnings for the model okay so go to click on post to processing mode again click on done option again okay so click on apply click on okay so this is a deflection diagram deselect this respected deflection diagram so in the same process we have to do the design for the m grade also so here i am selecting my m40 grade model next i am selecting here the model will be open in e type software again again for this respected uh, m40 grade also we need to proceed with the same procedure so go to click on design option firstly select the concrete design here again in the same process we have to select the m uh, indian codal system click on select a parameter deselect all these compressed and the yield strength the yield strength of shear reinforcement maximum and maximum secondary click on okay so again in the same process you have to click on define parameter which is comes under m40 grade okay now you can see here i am changing the grade of the concrete only click on add again i am selecting fy main just here also i am changing 500 grade 500000 click on add option section reinforcement next i am selecting here as 500000 click on add option again in the same process maximum main is 16 mm diameter click on add maximum secondary 12 mm diameter click on add close option okay so again in the same process click on comments option design beam click on add design column click on add uh, slab element command click on add take off command click on add close okay select this respected question marks by using assign to view assign yes fy assign to view assign yes option section assign to view assign yes option maximum mean assign to view assign yes option maximum secondary assign to view assign yes option design beam command go to select beams parallel to x condition system go to select beams parallel to z condition system assign to selected beams assign go to select design column go to select beams parallel to y condition system assign to selected beams assign option design element assign to view assign yes option again go to analysis and print option add or no print close option go to analyze option here run analysis here save option here so that the model will be do the uh, analysis process for the respective design section so here my model is ob observe with zero errors again go to post processing mode click on done option so click on apply your load cases click on okay again we have to deselect this respected uh, deflection diagram okay so initially i will show you the reinforcement details for the m20 grade concrete so for that firstly we have to uh, open the model which is related to the m20 grade concrete okay so firstly i am selecting the beam section here just i am selecting this respected beam 143 double click on it click on the concrete design so now we can see for this respected section of m20 grade concrete it is coming around 4 bars of 10 mm diameter at the top reinforcement section and 2 bars of 10 mm diameter at the bottom reinforcement section and steps will be consisting of 12 members with 8 mm diameter 120 center to center distance again in the same process we have to go to the m40 grade concrete under considerations of the g+2 go to select this respected beam option just i am selecting this respected beam sorry i am selecting 143 beam number double click on it click on concrete design so for this respected section now we can see it is getting around 3 bars of 12 mm diameter and 3 bars of 10 mm diameter at the bottom and steps is same for the respected m20 grade concrete m40 grade concrete okay so this is the comparison between the plinth beam reinforcement details again we have to see the reinforcement details for the main beam sections so for that i am selecting this respected beam section which is there in second floor next i am selecting here double click on it click on the concrete design so for this respected section it is required 2 bars of 12 mm diameter at the top 2 bars of 10 mm diameter at the top for this section it is required 10 bars of 8 mm center to center distance in the same process i am selecting this uh, m40 grid just click on here click on concrete design so for this respected section now you can see it is getting 3 bars of 10 mm diameter and 3 bars of 10 mm diameter which is related to the uh main bars again it will be consisting of the stirrups of 10 mm with 8 mm diameter with 120 cm to cm distance okay so from this results you can easily conclude that okay while you providing the reinforcement details grade of the concrete for the m20 grade and m40 grade the lower amount of the reinforcement values will be obtained in m20 grade concrete due to presence of the less amount of the loading condition system and higher amount of the reinforcement values will be obtained for m40 grade concrete due to presence of the higher amount of the loading condition for the plinth beam in the same process we will see the column reinforcement details just i am selecting the column which is related to the ground floor section so click on the concrete section so it is required 4 uh, bars of 16 mm diameter so again i am selecting m40 grid 
so select this respected section click on concrete design so it is getting around 4 bars of 12 mm diameter okay so again in the same process we have to see the reinforcement details for the column for the next section just i'm selecting here click on concrete design so it is getting same amount of the reinforcement details okay so number of the bars is same okay but when you see the plinth beam section which is consisting of the column section which is which is under the ground okay the number of the uh, bars is getting 4 and the diameter of the bar is getting around 16 mm okay so when you coming to the m40 grade concrete it is getting same amount of the 12 mm diameter throughout the building section now you can see it is getting around 12 mm diameter from these results you can conclude that when you provide the higher amount of the grade of the concrete for the building structure the beam sections or column uh, the column section which is under the ground section which is ha uh, having the higher amount of the reinforcement bars in the same process we have to see the uh, slab reinforcement details also so for that just i am selecting m20 grade concrete so go to click on the stand output file option so that the uh, output file will be loaded for the respected section under consideration so here i am selecting the results option click on the concrete design section so here i am selecting the last section which is related to the slab reinforcement section so here now we can see it will be consisting of the longitudinal reinforcement section and uh, transitional reinforcement section is same for the top section as well as the bottom section which is consisting of 126 okay so again in the same process we will see the results in m40 grade concrete click on the load option related to the start output file click on the results option click on the concrete design so here i am selecting the uh, element section area reinforcement section so now we can see here also it is getting the same amount of the reinforcement details for the 126 126 for the bottom as well as the top okay from the results which is obtained from the plinth beam section and column section as well as the main beam section we can conclude that by increasing the grade of the concrete it will affect only on the uh, beam section reinforcement uh, for the respected building under considerations of the load cases and it will affect the sum of the reinforcement detailing bars for the ground floor section only for the m40 grade concrete okay so the slab reinforcement section will be same for the respected uh, m20 grade concrete as well as the m40 grade concrete by using stanpo software okay if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions for more information regarding the civil engineering concepts please follow my website civilbasics123.com thank you